Tom Fenton says you can bet that Obama knew about the FBI informant spying on Donald Trump. Judicial Watch founder and President Tom Fenton went on Fox Business Network Thursday afternoon to discuss the deep state spying on the Trump campaign and the transition team. Now, Tom Fenton told FBN that Barack Obama knew about the informants or spies inside the Trump campaign and their justification is we did it by the book, we did it by the rules, and nobody buys this. Here now is Tom Fenton, Judicial Watch President. Tom, let's just start right there. After a day after Jim Clapper, or I don't know, it was yesterday or two days ago, said on The View, essentially admitted, yeah, there was, there was somebody there. He said we could debate whether it was an informer or a spy. But Adam Schiff is still claiming there was nobody there. How, how does he do that? I don't understand. Well, they're parsing words. They're using the Clinton approach to word parsing. It depends what the meaning of spy is. Uh, yeah. All these Democrats, all of these Obama officials are confirming they were running an informant, running a spy against the Trump campaign, uh, and their justification is we did it by the book, we did it by the rules. And no one buys that, and yeah. that's why Devin Nunes is pushing hard for this and Trey Gowdy are pushing hard for this. And, uh, the, you know, what's remarkable about this, you know, you hear the Democrats attacking Republicans. That's par for the course. The Justice Department has been undermining the oversight of Congress Absolutely. repeatedly over the last year. Republican-run Justice Department... Yeah attacks Devin Nunes and his oversight investigations repeatedly. And I guarantee you they didn't give him enough information today. Well, by and the way, still it, was, it, was, it, was, withholding. it was fascinating yesterday to see the tension between Rod Rosenstein, who was at a, the same conference that President Trump was at. They were trying to, to bury all of the antagonism between the two, but it was clear that they, they, it, it still existed. But let me just talk about President Obama for a second here, because whether you want to call him a spy or an informant, could the FBI have implanted this person into a presidential campaign without some kind of approval or at least knowledge by the sitting president, who was Obama? The president was briefed on the dossier. You can bet he was briefed on this operation against the campaign, especially given its sensitive nature. And President Obama should disclose what he knew about that. And you're assuming that the FBI was running him. I don't know if that's true. What was the CIA's involvement? The Defense Department was providing him money. Was the Defense Department involved in this? Uh, there's a lot of uh, questions that yeah. need answers to. There's also the question of timing and when this informant was implanted. Uh, I can see relationships between this informant and people like Carter Page or, or others that were approached by him going way back to before that Papadopoulos uh, meeting with the Australian ambassador that was supposed to have set all this off. You know, look, an informant is someone already in on the inside or friendly with folks at the provide information in the ordinary course. They run into things, they tell the FBI or CIA, hey, look what I ran into. A spy is someone you send in to get information and bring it out. Right. That's what this person was doing, Mr. Halper, it looks like. He was actually paying one of the sources, uh, one of the targets, to j try to cement a relationship. Uh, obviously, uh, throwing out uh, uh, opportunities to Carter Page in terms of meetings right. and reaching out to him repeatedly. This was a spy operation, no matter how you slice it. And Spygate is the charitable way of putting it. All right. I, I think there are crimes that took place here. Tom, we only have a couple of seconds, but Peter Strzok, uh, who played such an instrumental role in all of the investigations, Hillary's and then the Trump investigation, uh, there were a lot of texts between him and his lover at the FBI, Lisa Page, that went missing. And it was in a critical time from December 2016, after the election, uh, to May 17, 2017, the day that Mueller was appointed. Are we ever going to retrieve those texts? Well, the IG, if I recall, found at least some of them. Uh, this is why we need full disclosure about all the text messages. We're in federal court trying to get answers. Uh, the FBI won't be giving us a report as to all the text messages they found if they have their druthers until uh, 2020. Uh, look, the president mm. needs to intervene here and get all the records out quickly yeah. so we get answers to the appearing and disappearing text messages. Well, if it wasn't for Judicial Watch, of which you're president, we wouldn't have half of the text that we do have and that have informed us of so much that went on there. Tom, thank you so much for what you're doing. appreciate you appearing today.
Alright, so if you'd like to help support the channel, do so by clicking the links in the top of the description below. But other than that, I hope you have a great day. Be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below. And tell me how you feel about this report. And let's try and make America great again. I appreciate you. Peace.